In this sixth and final video in our series on the online Google Earth, we're going to learn about the measurement tools. Your measurement tool is the final tool on the bottom of the toolbar that appears over here on the left-hand side. And just like using a lot of the other tools, the first step in measuring is to pick a particular distance or a couple of locations that you'd like to measure the distance between. So here on our map, I have chosen uh, the three major cities where we are here in Maryland. We've got Baltimore and Annapolis, and then our neighbor just over there in Washington DC and each of those have been bookmarked so that I can measure some distances and area very easily so when you select on your measurement tool you get a box that pops up in the upper right that lets you know that it's going to record distance as you do your measurement and when you move your cursor you'll see that it has actually changed into this uh, crosshair icon here and you get a little flag that pops up that says select a starting point so if I place it down here on my bookmark for Washington and click then I can drag it over to the bookmark on another location and double click to uh, stop measuring and create a line between those two. So we can see here on the map that the approximate distance between Washington and Annapolis is 47.9 kilometers or 29.7 miles. Now if I want to do a different measurement I can either click on start new up here where it appears in the measurement box in the upper right or if I just select the measurement tool again it removes my current measurement and then I can click on it again and it's ready for me to make another measurement so that's a simple measurement of distance but if I wanted to get perimeter or area I can begin a line just as we did a moment ago but when I get to my second location instead of double clicking to end the line I click one time and then as I move my cursor you'll see that it's still that crosshair that will allow me to select another location so I can go up to my third city and then if I return to my original location my flag becomes closed shape so it's telling me it's going to create a polygon if I click here and it does exactly that when I click now I have two measurements in my information box in the upper right I see the measurement for the perimeter again kilometers first miles in parentheses and the uh, measurement for the area as well first kilometers uh, and then the mileage as well we even have the additional option with this closed shape or the single line segment to select on any of the vertices of this shape and move them. So if I decided that I wanted to know the, dis, uh, the area of this location instead, I can move that marker, I can drag this one out to include some component of the Eastern Shore, and so on. This also works with your individual line segments. So if we go back and just make that original line from Washington to Annapolis, I can click on the end and change it to to the distance between Washington and say Glen Burnie instead. So you have the ability to move individual line segments as well as change the vertices of that entire polygon that you have been creating there. The final thing I'd like to show you in this video is the option to change the um, primary units that are being used for measurement. And that's going to be back in our settings that we looked at in a previous video. So if I click on my menu option and go down to my settings, by default, Google Earth will measure in meters and kilometers, but when you click on the drop-down, you can choose feet and miles if those are preferred, save, and then even with my current distance that's been measured, it has flipped the units so that miles is my primary and kilometers is my secondary, and any new measurements that I start from here would reflect that as well.